Hello, this is Dr. Brian Cochran, and this is Coffee Shop Tip for today. And today we're going to be talking about uh, what type of return policy and customer service policy do you have in your store or your business. And the reason I'm asking that is because I was giving up on a company just recently because of, uh, I thought, of some unfair practices, meaning that uh, when I returned a piece of equipment that they recommended that they issued me a check, which, I mean, it, it, that gave me a problem instead of giving me cash back. But, okay, no problem, whatever, and, and that's their policy, and so I'll go with it. That, that wasn't a problem. But I went to their bank, and the bank told me that there, it was not their policy to charge, but it was actually the customers charging a service fee for cashing their own personal check or their check that they wrote to my name. And I thought that was just, I, I was livid because I'm accustomed to banks doing it because that's kind of what they do. But the challenge was uh, I didn't think it was cool for the business to do it. And so um, don't try to make extra money because they, they had lost me uh, at that time because I thought it was just so uncool that they would charge me for returning something that first and foremost that their employee suggested that I purchased for the use that I thought I needed it for or that I needed it for but it actually in all actuality I needed something else and so I, I was so upset that they charged me the fee that they were going to lose me at a customer but what ended up happening was they have you know as I talked about before about surveys well they had a company they, they have a, a, a outside company that does a follow up and they call to find out how my service was, I mean, how their service were and, and uh, would I recommend them to other people. And I said, no, and I'm not going to be uh, going there anymore. And I explained to them why would I just explain to you. And so what ended up happening was the manager, <clears throat> excuse me, the manager of the company, the general manager of the company called and he explained to him the situation, told him what had happened, and he apologized. And he said, wow, you know, it sounded kind of funny. It doesn't sound like something that they would normally have done. That, that That's something normally the banks would do, but it was kind of weird that he would go to, the, you know, that he would go up and try to figure out, you know, if that's their policy to get it changed because that's not fair. Um, but he, then he also turned around and offered me a discount um, for the next time that I came in to, you know, for me not to lose my business. And so just him making the phone call himself personally versus having somebody else call and never calling me back because they say, well, hey, we'll have somebody call you. And the actual, not, not the department head, but the actual the general manager took the time to call me. And I thought that was phenomenal. So with you, same thing. What are you going to do uh, with your return policy and, and how you're going to do business and, and follow up with your customers? Uh, they, they were going to lose me, but they end up keeping me as a customer because of their great customer service. So that's the tip for the day. Make sure you have a flexible return policy and that you follow up to make sure that your customers have great satisfaction. This is Dr. Brian Cochran with Business at 101, the coffee shop tip for the day.